welcome to The Daily English Show. Today's mistake is mixing up before and ago. For example, if I offer you a piece of cake and you say, oh no thanks, I'm still full. I ate lunch one hour before. That should be, I ate lunch one hour ago. Ago is used if you're counting from now or the time of speaking to some time in the past. She moved here five years ago. He died six months ago. And you use before if you're counting from some point in the past to another point further back in the past. The example in this book is Napoleon died in 1821. He had lost the Battle of Waterloo six years before. This is an example I found online. This was way back in the summer of 2002 two years before Google went public. But if I was speaking in 2006, I could say, Google went public two years ago. And now I could say, Google went public four years ago. Today's site is manythings.org. This is one of my favorite sites. I actually talked about it before, but that was quite a while ago, so I thought it was worth mentioning again. One of the cool pages is this one which has minimal pair practice. For example, Japanese speakers often have trouble telling the difference between L and R, so there's an exercise which helps you with that. But of course, everyone is different, and people from other countries have no problems with L and R, but have problems with other sounds. You probably know a lot more about this than I do if you've traveled a lot, or if you're a student who's studied in a class with people from many different countries, or if you've taught people from many different countries. There's a great guide in this book on page 141. By the way, this is an excellent book if you're looking for a book on pronunciation. Anyway, this guide tells you which speakers have trouble with which sounds. I also did a really quick search and found a passage about this in a book called Teaching Science to Language Minority Students. The sounds of spoken English differ from those in some other languages. For example, the th sounds, as in thunder or then, do not exist in Farsi, Japanese, or many of the Indian languages. Native speakers of those languages may have difficulty pronouncing th, therefore substituting a t, s, z, or d sound, saying thunder for thunder, or den, or perhaps zen, for then. So if you have trouble with the th sound, you might find lesson 18 useful, which is the difference between they and de. Kia ora, in Stick News today, there's been a public outcry against an eavesdropping law in Sweden. The Associated Press reported that more than one million emails have been sent to politicians. Sweden's parliament has passed a bill which will allow officials to eavesdrop on all cross-border email and telephone traffic. The new law is due to be implemented in January. The Associated Press reports that critics say the law will encroach on privacy and jeopardize civil liberties, while supporters claim it is needed to fight international crime and terrorism. A tabloid newspaper has launched a campaign against the law, and a parliamentary spokesperson says protesters have sent over a million emails about the law to politicians. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 2nd of July. Kia ora. Today's word is substitute, use, add or serve in place of, replace with another. I found this question using the word substitute online. Can I substitute all-purpose flour for cake flour? And the answer was, cake flour contains less gluten than all-purpose flour and produces a more tender texture. Though the results won't be the same, in an emergency you can substitute 7 eighths of a cup of all-purpose flour for one cup of cake flour. Are you looking forward to the Olympics? August. Hmm, I guess so. Probably the sprinting. 
Which athletes do you think have the best bodies? Hmm, yeah, kind of. Where do they are? The thing about the Olympics though is that there are so many events that it's really hard to decide what to watch. What's your favourite event? Yeah, the sprinting is cool. I like watching their bodies, they're like works of art. Hmm, definitely not marathon runners. They look a bit sick because they're so thin. And weightlifters look a bit scary. Gymnasts look a bit scary too because they can bend so much. Probably swimmers because they have nice muscles and they also have a layer of fat which gives a kind of soft effect. The original Olympic Games were held in A. 776 BC, B. 776, C. 1776. A. The Olympic rings were designed in 1913 by a guy from A. China, B. Japan, C. France. C. This year the Olympics will be held in A. Shanghai, B. Beijing, C. Seoul. B. The official logo of the 2008 Olympic Games features a stylized character from A. The name of the President of China B. The name of the biggest stadium in China C. The name of the host city C. The Beijing National Stadium is nicknamed the A. Bird Nest B. Egg C. Frying Pan A. And that was The Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.